Eric Darling here with Darling Data. It's a delayed start. Recently I learned that um, if you have uh, any services in Windows with a delayed start, that delayed start window is two minutes. Uh, and I, I learned that in a sort of a weird way because uh, for some reason uh, SQL Server 2022 has a delayed start when no other version of SQL Server that I've ever installed has one. And uh, I was wondering why I kept having to go in and start it manually when it, and it turns out I just had to wait two minutes. So every time I start up my VM, I go smoke half a pack of cigarettes and then come back and SQL Server 2022 is there waiting for me. Just kidding. I, don't know, I can't actually smoke half a pack of cigarettes in two minutes. That would be, I don't even know how that would feel. Anyway. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about why the Rolock hint uh, is a bit of a misunderstood misnomer in that it does not guarantee that you will only ever take Rolocks. And we're going to do that with a pretty quick demo. Uh, I don't think this one, this one hits the five minute mark, I'll be... Um, pretty impressed with myself. I don't know. Let's see what happens. We're already a solid two minutes in, and uh, I thought that for some reason I wasn't recording, but it turns out I am recording. So uh, if you notice me look panicked and distracted in the video, that's exactly why. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a pretty simple query here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just select the top 5,000 rows out of the users table. I'm going to do this in a transaction, again, because... It lets me talk to you longer. You dreamy, dreamy, constant watchers, you. And then we're going to look at SP who is active. And then we're going to see what kind of locks this thing takes. All right. Now, we've got an index on the users table <clears throat> on the reputation column, so we can do all our seeking. The leads are the leads with the reputation column, so we can do all our seeking into this in, into that index to find the values we care about. This isn't a demo that shows like, oh, look, you don't have an index to support the roll lock hint. You can't take roll locks. You're a big dummy. Uh, this is uh, something that people get flipped up on, tripped up on, uh, whipped up on all the time. So... Without further ado, let's uh, begin tran this thing, and I want you to notice the row lock hint right down here, right? And if we come over here and we run SP who is active, you can tell I've been practicing this one, and we look at the locks that get taken, we notice <coughs> a bunch of key locks across both of both the clustered and the non-clustered index. All right, so we got all the data that we needed there. All right, just lock those things on the keys, no big deal. In and out, quick as can be. Groovy. Now where the row lock hint can fall apart is of course in matters of lock escalation. Ooh la la, such big words. So if I delete one zero off of this, so instead of looking for greater than 100,000, I look for greater than or equal to 10,000, and we run that same query, and we look at SP who is active, and we look at the locks, we will see one big, goofy object level lock on the users table. All right. Request mode X, grant count one. So our feeble attempt at only locking rows was escalated to an object level lock because we hit a lock escalation threshold. So the next time you are thinking about using the row lock hint in order for it to be honored at all by SQL Server, uh, you need to have an index that uh, suits the where clause of your query so that you can uh, only only take locks on rows in that index. And you also need to make sure that you do not hit any lock escalation thresholds because if you do, SQL Server will bump you up 
to an, a full object level lock. Which uh, is surprising to a lot of people. So, you know, a few things to make sure of. One, suitable index. Two, you're not going to go update 50 bajillion rows anyway. Because it's just not going to work out the way that you hoped it would. Anyway, I have hit nearly five and a half minutes, which I didn't expect to do. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, please find it in your big enlarged hearts to like and subscribe. Or like, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and I'm going to go record a different one now that talks about something else. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow. I'm going to actually, you know what? I'm going to ride this out until I hit the six-minute mark because I want to spend more time with you. So uh, that's enough.